Do you know Canada has reserved enough vaccines for about five complete immunizations per citizen? The United States comes second with roughly four vaccinations per capita, and the UK has ordered enough for about three vaccinations per head. It all looks great, but sadly, these first world Western nations do not represent even a quarter of the world. So while these affluent countries are busy stockpiling, who is helping countries in Africa, Latin America, the Caribbean, and Asia? The answer is China. Yes, China is supplying vaccines to countries like Turkey, Indonesia, Egypt, and Brazil. And when China chose to lend a hand, Western media even started portraying the move as a charm offensive. The New York Times said it was aimed at repairing damaged ties and bringing friends closer in regions China deems vital to its interests. And some called it vaccine diplomacy. So is China really playing some sort of a game here? Before we answer this question, let's look at these plain facts. According to the People's Vaccine Alliance, at least 90% of people in 67 low-income countries stand little chances of getting vaccinated in 2021 because some wealthy nations, as I mentioned earlier, have reserved more than they need. Some of these are nations who didn't even have coverage against missiles until 2018, something the U.S. has had it covered as early as 1982. American didn't help then, and it won't help now. With this situation as a backdrop, China is only doing its best to help these not-so-affluent nations. If helping the people in need is a crime, then China is indeed guilty. But why would these countries take Chinese vaccines? To find out, I talked to the CEO of Sinovac. These countries are supposed to have many choices when it comes to vaccines. They chose us because we have solid research and data because we did it well, it makes their choices wise. So your vaccines has been granted for emergency use in countries like Indonesia and Brazil. So what does it take to reach that stage? We were the first to prove that the vaccine is effective on animals, and the results were supported by medical institutes around the world. One thing led to another, and they invited us to do the phase three clinical trials in their countries. China helps all because it understands that if anyone is left out, it will eventually affect the entire world. After all, the virus knows no borders. And is it really necessary to question China's intentions when it is working to save millions across the globe? What exactly is the motive behind all this negativity against China from the West? I'll leave that for you to figure out.